back with another video in this video we'll be learning the next thing in javascript so what we call it as javascript code structure so we have learned all about javascript and ides and all of the things right now in this course so now it's time to look at how the exact javascript code is structured into right so before diving deep into this code structure uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that I will be coming with uh, courses, tutorials and technology related stuff and you won't miss that uh, anything and it will be helpful for you guys. So yes guys back with the, the thing. Uh, so now what do you mean by code structure? So the entire JavaScript code is divided into two parts. So the first part is called as code section where we usually write statements. So now what do you mean by statements? So generally statement means it's a set of instructions where we need to uh, you know perform some actions. So we write some code which is again in the form of a statement. So those statements will be a set of instruction and which we want to perform some action by executing those statements. So this is what we call it as the entire part as code section. So in this code section, we have some kind of tricky part in JavaScript. We call it as tricky semicolons in uh, JavaScript. I call it as tricky semicolons because it seems to be confusing for a beginners in JavaScript because uh, I will tell you all of the things in this video. So for the first part is the code section and the second part is the comment section. Obviously, we write comments which are inexecutable codes in any programming languages, right? So first code, uh, first part is the code section where we write all of the, the logic part and the next part is the comment section where we write all the, the comments which are necessary to understand for the developers and it has a big impact on the entire uh, file, the entire JavaScript file. So now in this section, we'll just go around with the, the code section and some tricky semicolons. So yes guys, now we'll talk about the code section and it's tricky semicolon uh, the thing. And now uh, this, as you can see, this is the thing which we have done in the previous video where we have studied about external JS, right? So we have the external JS and we have linked that. So coming to the, the JS code structure, of course we need to deal with the JS file, not with the HTML. And now what is code structure? The first part is code section. So we write all the codes like, you know, function and then, uh, you know, some some kind of body of those function like I'll just say console.log and, and then I will just say hi. So this is a body of the function and this is the whole whole function. And we generally call it as all of the things as code section where we have written all of the logic in here and then at the last I will just I will just call the name of the function as function name that's it and I will save this file and if I just come back to the browser and if I just refresh this and we got the output right so we have printed hi here by calling this function uh, the function name as uh, function name itself so don't worry about this function because it seems to be for you a difficult if you are a beginner so I'll just erase this off so generally guys, I want to uh, know you guys about the code section where we write all of the code. So we haven't come, come to the comment section as of now. I just want to tell you about the code part. So we generally call it as uh, the code section. So this is it guys, so simple. And so coming to the tricky semicolon uh, thing where if I just remove this off and I'll just say save this and come back to the browser and let me explain you the tricky uh, semicolon thing over here. So now we have got this output, right? Hey, this is external JS, right? So now what I will do here is I'll just remove this semicolon and I'll save this file and let me check the output of this file. You see, the output remains the same, right? It, it seems to be wow right even without the semicolon it's not giving me any you know errors or warnings there's nothing it works perfectly fine right yes this is the point i have to uh, i wanted to tell you guys so in javascript 
we there is no mandatory rule to add a semicolon at the end of every statements in javascript right so j- just like you know in in uh, in c we have there is a rule in c programming where we need to add a semicolon the semicolon at the end of every statement so unlike that javascript works perfectly fine without a semicolon like this you see and with the semicolon like this it's one and the same right so usually we write a semicolon at the end of every statement because it it is just a a standard thing in almost all the programming languages and now the tricky part is uh, as i said there is no mandatory rule of having a semicolon in every single statements in javascript i'll just say suppose i'll just say console dot now guys here is the tricky part i will not add a semicolon and i will just say uh, 90 into uh, 10 so now what's the expression of this whole thing so this is guys what we call it as expression so 90 into 10 is 900 of course so now if i just save this and just look at the output of this in the browser you see we got the out- output as 900 which which works perfectly fine so now the thing is the tricky part is i'll just say after a multiplication sign i'll just hit enter so now as you can see here there is no semicolon at the end of line number 2 so now do you think uh, there is an error in this uh, code let's check that so i'll just save this and come back to the browser and if i refresh the page boom guys see here as you can see we are getting the output as 900 which means we are getting the output of these two lines combined there is no semicolon attached even though there is no semicolon our virtual javascript virtual machine which runs this which executes this code will not attach a semicolon here right so we have got the same output as here right so in the browser we have got the entire output of this two statements combined so the thing here is since we have uh, an multiplication sign at the end of this line number 2 our java virtual machine will not append the semicolon because it is the half expression which means we have the still the next half expression in the next line right so what it does is it will come back to the line number 3 and it reads the line number 3 and here we have all the next half expression ending with this the bracket of this log and now our java virtual uh, i'm sorry uh, javascript virtual machine will have add an semicolon in the line number 3 not in the line number 2 so now this works perfectly fine so if i just come back to the browser you see this is one and the same so yes guys this is all about the tricky semicolon so we we usually don't write this childish kind of thing in in development we usually usually do in this way itself right so this is the standard thing of course now we can have the semicolon or not so it's up to you but make sure that you uh, have uh, all of this kept in mind with respect to semicolon so it works perfectly fine now so yes guys this is all about the tricky semicolon in javascript and make sure that you know that and we have completed the the first part in java script code structure and in the next video we'll learn all about the comments in javascript so see you in the next video